Hey everybody, Brent Johnson here with Heartfield Automation. This week we're going to finish off our series on how to put together an Acapos track simulation. What we're going to do is we're going to finish configuring a few more items in the project. Then we're going to add the programs that are out of the help file in Automation Studio into our project. And then we're going to open up Scene Viewer and we're, we're going to actually simulate our, sim, our simulation that we've created over these past few weeks. All right, let's hop into it. Here's where we left off last week. So let's do a few more things before we get into writing the programs. Go up here and right click on your on the CPU and hit configuration. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our FTP server. Just hit the plus sign by it and then hit the plus sign under activate FTP server. We've already activated it. We've already created a username. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually come right down here where it says share device and go change it from mass storage to all devices. Go ahead and hit save all. Next, we're gonna to go to our, our X20BC8083, right click on it, hit configuration. And then we're gonna to go to the dynamic node allocation, and we're gonna change DNA from off to on. And go ahead and hit save all. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the each segment here. So we're gonna just kinda open up the little system designer and we're gonna right click, we're gonna change, just right click on the first one and we're gonna change, we're gonna go to configuration and we're gonna do under this power link configuration, hit the plus sign and then under dynamic node allocation, hit the plus sign and we're gonna change DNA to on. We're gonna do this for all of these. So I'm gonna hit save all and then I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna to go to the next one and do the same thing. And we'll go all the way down through 16. Okay, once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, gonna do some configurations on the power supply. So go ahead and right click on the first one on the left there and hit configuration. And we're gonna change some of these voltages here. So all these power supplies run off of 58 volts. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change, turn parallel mode, mode to on. So first we're gonna change parallel mode, mode to on. And then we're gonna change the voltage to 58 volts, hit enter and go ahead and hit save. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the second power supply. So go right over and right click on the second power supply, hit configuration. We're gonna change parallel mode to on. And we're gonna change this to 58 volts and hit enter and hit save all. And then you can close out of that. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the configuration view. So go ahead and go over to the configuration view and then we're gonna open up our map motion, our track oval. We're gonna go open up a help window. So let's open up the help window. And then we're gonna to go to map motion. We're gonna to go to getting started and we're gonna to go to Acapulco track. And what I wanna show you is we are gonna click on this area here. So we're gonna, Go ahead and we're gonna open up our first thing. We're gonna cop we're gonna copy this. So let's go back and let's open up our assembly feature, config.assembly feature. And we're gonna we're gonna change the name to this exact name that they have here. So feature. Underscore sim underscore shuttle underscore def underscore one. Go ahead and hit enter, hit save all. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna copy how this is all simulated here. So we're gonna go to type and we're gonna do the uh, simulated shuttles definition, just like that. We're gonna do sector track A for the sector reference. Orientation's positive single shuttle. We're gonna change this from single shuttle to set of shuttles. 
And then we're going to do the start position, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, hit enter. Number of shuttles is going to be 5. Just hit 5, enter. And distance between shuttles is 0 0.15. 0 0.15, enter. And then go ahead and hit save all. You can close this. The next, we're gonna, next thing we're going to open up is our config one assembly. And then we're going to just kind of shrink everything here for now. And we're going to go to assembly features right here. And we're going to copy this, this feature sim thing. We're going to just point to that. So right here, we're going to click that, hit enter, just like that. And we're good to go. So go ahead and hit save all. You can close out of there. Next, we're going to go into the programming. We're going to go and we're going to dump in these programs into our pro into our program. So all we're going to do is go from the help folder under programming, and we're going to do the global data type declaration. Go ahead and hit this little box here, then hit Control C. Then we'll go back to our program and go back to logical view, and this is our global data type declaration. So global type. Open as text. Just highlight here and hit Control V, and then hit Save All. The next one's going to be our global variable decorate declaration. So go ahead and hit this gray thing. Hit Control C, and our global variables will open up as a text. Highlight this whole area and hit Control V. Hit Save All. And then we're going to actually put our program data type declaration. So go ahead and highlight it again. Hit Control C. And we're going to go to our start movement program. And we're going to open up our type as a text. Highlight it. Hit Control V. Hit Save All. And then we're going to go to the actual structured text program for our start movement program. So highlight it all, hit control C. And we're going to main, open as text. Highlight the entire thing, hit control V. Oops, I apologize, this is not the main program. Let's delete this. We'll go, just close this, hit sit, hit sit no. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to the variables. We're going to hit right click on the variables for the program, hit open as text, then highlight the whole area and hit control V. And then you can go ahead and save it all. And then last, we're going to actually put the act this actual program that's in help in there. So just highlight the whole thing for program start movement, hit control C, go to our main program here, right click, hit open as text. And then we can go ahead and see that it got it put in there. Hit save all. You can close out of that. So that's basically the program for the track. Next program, we're going to go to, to our simulation task. And we're going to just copy and paste these ones. So we're going to go back to our global variables. Highlight this. Hit control C. And then right click on here and hit open as text. And we could have just done this to begin with, but we're going to hit control V. It just added a few more things for the simulation that we're going to need. Hit save all. You can close out of there. And then we're going to do the variable declaration for our visualization. Hit control C. And then I'll go to our viz and variable. Open as text. Highlight the area. Hit control V. Hit save all. And then all we have left is our program for our visualization. So go ahead and highlight the whole thing. Hit control C and we'll go to our main program. Next off of here, right click, open as text, highlight this whole area, hit control V. And that's it, we're all set. So now we can actually go ahead and do a simulation utilizing scene viewer. Okay, we've added all the programs and all of the variables and the structures that we needed for this. The next thing to do is go ahead and we're going to go and actually make sure you have 
scene viewer downloaded and the scene viewer that you're going to need is the scene viewer 4.1.3 so you can go and get this on BNR's website but just so you understand it has to be this scene viewer that you're using scene viewer version 4.1.3 so that's what I'm using right now and I went ahead and opened it up we're going to go back to our automation studio project we're going to go ahead and make sure you're you're in simulation mode so just click on the little green light here and then wait for it to turn green in your bottom right corner of your screen we're now in run mode and then what we're going to do is we're going to do an offline installation go over to project go ahead and hit project installation and click on offline installation it will build the project down here Okay, go ahead and click on this Create Local Install folder. We're all done, click Close. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a watch window. Go ahead and right click on our Start Movement program, hit Open, Watch, and then right click in the white area, hit Insert Variable. We're gonna insert G-Track ASM, and we're going to also hold down the control button, click on step. That's so we know where we're, where we're at in the program, in the big case statement program of this program. So go ahead and hit add. And then what we can do now, let's go back over to our help. And we kind of did the offline installation. The thing I want to focus on here is in our scene viewer, we need to have this exact information in here. So go back to our scene viewer software. Go up to online, go to PVI, click on option. We're set with the, I, the IP address is the same. The task name is viz, variable name is viz. We're at 10, 10, 800 bytes. We're all good. It should be exactly the same as what it is here. Go ahead and hit OK. Then go back to online, go to PVI and hit connect. I'm going to make this a little small so we can see the exact entire loop. We're going to go back into our AR sim. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to change our power from false to true. So go ahead and double click in it and then hit one, hit enter. We're now in the ready step state. So as we go here, you can see we have our, our shuttles one through five. We're going to go ahead and, and click one for shuttle start. And now we're in the moving step. And you can see our shuttles are actually moving around the track. Thanks everyone for watching this week's video. I hope it was informative. I hope it helped you figure out how to go ahead and program these Acapulco tracks. They're not that scary. I hope you like these videos. If you do, go ahead and hit subscribe. I've got a lot of other great content related to this type of stuff. And I hope you have a great week and stay safe. Thanks.